What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to our expansion team, Houston Oilers Rebuild, into our third season here as defending Super Bowl champs, off to the right start, beating the also tough Kansas City Chiefs. Before we get into the episode, if you could do me a huge favor, please do hit that like button. Really appreciate it. And let's get into it. So we used up our first game of offensive playage. So we have one more game where we can go in and play every snap of offense. And then we will have four games of full play the moments as we get through this season and then any breakouts that should follow. And speaking of breakouts, this man right here, Diami Brown, is making a name for himself here. So as you guys know, we poached one player from all 32 teams when we started this rebuild off, and Diami Brown was our pick from the Commanders. Really was sitting deep down our depth chart for a while, but got an opportunity due to an injury to KJ Hamler last year, stepped up in that playoff run last year, and now our starting slot receiver is killing it. So... That's a big storyline here in this season. Defensively, a pretty good job against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Ed Oliver, one of our big free agents signing against a familiar opponent there, against the, the, the Chiefs. He's had some big games coming from Buffalo against that team. So couldn't really ask for a better start. Hoping to keep this thing rolling. And let's go on with it. We have some scenarios here for that week one opener. Uh, Christian Harris is not going to get that little mini breakout that he had. Not a surprise there. He is not a full-time starter for us. But the opening day keys, we didn't hit our goals there either, but we do get 1,000 XP for the big win. We can take a peek at scouting. I thought ahead of time and nerfed the speed for receivers so we can think about scouting from the very beginning here. Uh, as far as our scouts are concerned, um, pass rush and linebacker is a good focus there. Safety wide receiver, I'm fine, is a one star. Same deal, one star there, one star. Um, and then getting cornerback focus, I think, is probably going to still be our biggest need. You know, cornerback, pass rush. I think we've got our bases covered pretty well uh, as far as that. Now, what about assigning these guys? And then as far as scouting is concerned, I thought ahead of time and nerfed all those super fast wide receivers in this class. So we can think about scouting a little bit earlier here, uh, just based on the regional breakdown. I went ahead and did this ahead of time, but it's not going to make a huge difference based on our needs. Our biggest needs are really going to be corner and probably safety. Uh, so we have a defensive backs scout that we're going to send out west, which seems to be a, a strength there with cornerback. Um, the rest of them, the strengths seem to be a little bit more at quarterback and in the trenches. So we're going to let our scouts kind of do their own work. And then our national scout is going to be a cornerback scout. Uh, although I do wonder if we could get a cornerback safety scout as our three star. Now that I say that, let's see. Cornerback, cornerback, linebacker, cornerback, safety. There we go. Miguel Villanueva, counting on you to be a big-time national scout for us this year. And we will surely have some more scouting discussions as we move on. But let's go ahead and advance to Week 2 against Kyler Murray and the Cardinals. They are 1-0. I think with a 78 overall team coming to town, coming off a big win, I think this is one we can sim. So I'm going to do that. But let's set our goals here. Let's contain Kyler. Pretty squishy Cardinals team, although they do have a new superstar defensive tackle. The Cardinals finally addressing the trenches. But uh, I think we can probably run on this team. And then we should get some upgrades here as well. Whole bunch of upgrades. Let's do the important ones here. Malachi Moore. So he is pretty balanced. We can pretty much stick with whatever route we want to go here. I think I'm going to go zone, though, because I want some press there. Give us some press. Dang it. I 
It feels like it's never worth to do anything other than slot because you can still get pressed from slot and it doesn't feel like you get that too consistently from the other ones either. Uh, Jermaine Burton, I'm going to go deep threat. Justin Matabuike, who does still have a role here though, uh, even though we signed Ed Oliver. We have BJ Hill is our starting defensive tackle and Matabuike is our starting rush defensive tackle, by the way. Ezra Cleveland getting the start at left guard now after we let Matt Filer go in free agency. Our young tight end, Mitchell Reinhardt, who did catch a touchdown in his first game, even if Jonu Smith dominated. And oh boy. Oh boy. That is a big reveal right there, you guys. This was, was he our third round pick? He's going to have at least Superstar. We're not going to get that revealed probably until the end of the year because it does not make sense to bench Janu after the game he had there. But, uh, wow, we seem to have hit on a potential Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews type of tight end there. Uh, and then this Tyrell Perkins as well. Don't sleep on him. 6'4", 230 pounds. I want to go deep threat for him. But I wouldn't be surprised if, if he has really good dev as well. And he's just kind of chilling there right now. Not a, not a lot of opportunity with how loaded we are at wide receiver. He's our wide receiver five behind KJ Hamler. But, man, we have got some prospects coming through the farm here, man. Zach Pickens is, is not too shabby. Tavian Thomas, our backup running back. I'm going to go receiving back for him. That is really the role he's going to be playing for us. Want to get, oh, okay, speed, acceleration, short route catching. That's uh, about as good as you could ask for there. Love it. Can Max Borgie get a similar boost? And not too bad himself. And then we'll auto the rest of these guys here. All right, so the team's getting better. I am going to sim this one. It's not going to be an easy game, but we can't play every week. We got to go to Lambo next week, perhaps utilize that as a pledge. We'll see kind of where, where they're at next week. But let's go ahead and advance. Thanks for that, Tony. And we do win 28 to 20. Will Levis a clean, almost game managing type of game. Um, although did attempt 33 passes there. We picked off Kyler Murray a couple times. Tavian Thomas after that speed boost. Max Borgie gets a rushing touchdown along with Derek Watt. Three rushing touchdowns for the Oilers this week. Receiving Corey Davis, Burton, Brown, another good week there. He's up to 200 yards, a couple touchdowns already. Defensively, though, we get no sacks, but a pick from Blackman and Bush, a couple of our expansion picks there. So we are consistent, man. 28 to 21, week one, 28 to 20 last week. Got to play the Green Bay Packers this week. We can pick that regional focus here. So out west, we definitely want to go cornerback. Central for Mario Williams. Uh, you know, keeping him as our two-star might not have made too much sense, but we'll stand by him, and let's just go. You know, this is really not a good fit for him, to be honest, but um, let's let, you know, Mario Williams really good defensive player he might know a thing or two about safety let's let's get him on the safeties even if we're not getting the max efficiency there that's all right we'll figure it out um george coslo out east let's get you focused on safeties please and then in the south east looks like outside linebacker will be a good focus there not that we need a good draft, but we've been pretty damn good so far. The first two years of our drafts have been pretty remarkable. So the Packers are 0-2. Tanner McKee is their starter, the towering pocket passer out of Stanford. 
they really have not had a good season. So I think we will sim this one again. Never easy to go into Lambeau, a team that doesn't want to fall to one and uh, to zero and three rather. But I think we can do it. Let's defend that outside zone running scheme that they like to go with. Let's, yeah, let's um, let's blitz counter this week against Rashawn Gary and those guys up front. We'll do our training and then see if we can climb to three and zero here. Bunch more upgrades. Will Levis keeps getting better. The abilities are going to really start to come for him this year. Jelani Woods. Don't forget that we have him as our tight end three in, in what has got to be the best tight end group in the league. And then Julian Blackman is going to get some new abilities unlocked there at uh, level four. Eight or level uh, 80 overall. We can go take a look at what we might be able to change him to. We can get uh, flat zone KO, recuperation, bench press. Still not a whole lot of good abilities for Blackman. Gonna stick with what he's got there. Okay. Can we climb to 3 0? Oh? Tough game. Let's get Tony on this one again. Mm. Oh. Oh. Ah. Woo. 42-21. We are rocking and rolling, baby. Pretty good game from Levis. Does throw a pick. Dylan gets a pair of touchdowns. Jermaine Burton a big week. Diami Brown does get another touchdown. Fantasy owner is going to be happy with, with his production this year. Bosa gets a sack finally. No interceptions. But 42-21, uh, to 21, our defense is consistent. Our offense keeps getting better. Now the Raiders here are an 84 overall team on paper. They're 1-2, and two, but I think this might be a good week to hop in, try to keep the win streak going. We've got a QB1 check-in. I think we should praise Will Levis. He's playing very well. So if we can beat the Raiders with 300-plus yards, uh, Levis will probably get a little confidence boost there. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's... See if we can throw it around the yard against this team. Let's defend the inside run against Josh Jacobs. Let's air it out. Let's throw it deep. Can take a look at this Raiders roster and see if uh, they've improved over the last couple of years. See if there's anybody new that we need to keep an eye out for or if they're still the same kind of toothless Raiders defense with just Max Crosby in there. So they have Tyree Wilson out of Texas Tech is a Decent edge player, but nothing crazy. Eter Gross Matos looks like their scheme's a little messed up here. Maybe we could fix that before we hop into this game. Uh, Max Crosby is that X factor there, so we got to keep an eye out for him. Uh, Romeo Aquara, the linebackers are pretty much the same there, um, at least with Perriman. Corner, Nate Hobbs did earn superstar. Bryce Hall, Jalen Mills, Merrick's fine. Brian Cook. Yeah, this, um, this team is not very good. I am going to go ahead and fix their scheme before we play them. Thanks, EA. Looks like they should be set up for a 3-4. It's funny, I, I turned coach firings off, and they still do this. This is going to be a Etour Gross Matos revenge game against us even though I don't think he's going to be starting. We'll do our upgrades. Although not too much to speak of here. We will do Glenn Sutfin, undrafted free agent that made the team. Nice boost. And George LeBlanc. Now he, I think, is a good athlete. We can go power rusher for him. Maybe he can be a power rush specialist for us someday. That's a pretty good boost there. Two power moves and a strength. Not too bad for a 61 overall. Trying to throw it deep this week, so let's uh, get a little, little boost to our offense there. Why not? 
Andre Weaver, the OC. Okay, let's do it. Let's hop in. Let's uh, host the Raiders. And they give us the big first quarter drive that they so rarely do. Let's give it to Tavian Thomas, see what that speed boost can do for the young man. Take it. Let's go a little quick game here. Good pass rush there by the Raiders. Third and long, but they're giving that seam up. Let's see if uh, Burton can slide right through there. Looks like he is going to. First down, Oilers. AJ Dillon. Run him over. Not sure we have the right call on here if this is some form of cover three. Let's go more of a stick check here oh there's uh mitchell getting involved good to see him still out there even though he's uh technically a backup good check by will levis there as well it was cover three so much better play call against that we got a little mesh on here it's like cover three again oh brown there for it after levis gets hit while he's thrown Second and six. Make a man miss, Thomas. That's the aspect of his game that is still coming along. Still want to give him a chance to grow. Okay, third and three. Oh my goodness. We give Diami Brown a chance. What a catch. Thrown behind him. Whoa. As if we needed another playmaker on this offense. Okay, third and six. We're gonna spread it out. Levis just gonna run it. Let's go! You like that? You like that? What a drive. And the defense. Never mind. Gets backed up into the red zone. on first down second and one good play by the rookie corner Myrick who's still playing due to an injury to Sean Murphy bunting John Johnson one on one with Darren Waller Oliver gets through, but he misses. And that's a touchdown for the Raiders. Good answer by Derek Carr. But now we're driving. Let's check. Uh, this feels like maybe a blitz. 
You know what? Let's let's just. Uh, oh, we can't block. Janu. Couldn't block that up. It was not a blitz, but the edge came in anyway. Hold on to the ball. Oh, Levis fumbles, but the lineman there for it. Dangerous, dangerous play. Levis getting a little uh, greedy after the first rushing touchdown. Uh, but if this is cover two, keep an eye on Diami Brown here. And it's not intercepted. Bad read. Very bad read. That's the Cincinnati product, Cook. And uh, yikes. That's a throw we're going to want back. Kind of a reactionary throw, expecting cover two. It was not. And a mistake by the young quarterback, but the defense does their job. Bunkers down. And uh, we got a chance to go tie this thing up here before half. Good blocking. Good blocking. Let's go hurry up. Dylan, there's a nice little back shoulder action. Throw from Levis. All day to throw. Burton, right there. Wow, the protection against the three-man rush there. Hysterically good. Uh, redemption opportunity in the red zone now. Let's see if Bra Diami Brown can get a clean release. Not really, but still going to go to him. Brown unable to come down with it. There is a penalty on the play. Holding. Bring it back. Is this going to be holding again? Goodness. Stop cheating, O-line. We're just going to put Dylan in. Hope we can get some of this back on the ground. We do have all of our timeouts. Might as well use it there. Oh, Levis. Poor accuracy on the throw. He had Diami Brown, but he left it too far inside. It's the second red zone interception from Will Levis, who's having his worst game of the season, but the defense showing why they're a championship caliber defense. A another opportunity for Levis down here. And at this point, unfortunately, I think we gotta we gotta go to the ground game. Lean on our other superstar, AJ Dillon, to finish the job here. Only his seventh carry of the game. I think it's time we make a little adjustment ourselves. And uh Make sure we can win this ball game. Let's not be too stubborn to the game plan here. Oh, Crosby there, though, to bring down Dylan. Second and goal from the six. We'll go ground here. A little quick game. Step up, Levis. Hold on to the ball. Gosh. He fumbles another one, and that's Jonah Jackson there to pick it up for a touchdown. The big man. Wow, and the defense continues to hold. We got a third and six here. Oh, my gosh. And that one thrown with horrible trajectory. The third interception of the game. For Levis, trying to get to the second level and just throws it right to the linebacker. So it is not all rainbows and butterflies for this offense right now. Got the blitz on on third and five. Get in. Wow, Derek Carr just misses Hunter Renfro. That was a gift. The quarterback play in this game, not ideal. Uh, so we've got a first and ten in field goal range. The Raiders giving us a horrible pre-snap look here. They do slide that safety down a little bit. Good vision by Thomas. 
And uh, yeah, I think we got to go ground here. Two minute warning. We do have 290 passing yards, but those uh, interceptions, obviously, pretty brutal. I mean, this could be a confidence boost opportunity for Levis. We got a little play action. The Raiders expecting run here. Burton. Golly. Unable to get out of the pocket. That hurts. Can't take a sack there. Not expecting the defensive tackle to have such good pursuit on Levis, but he did. Some ugly moments here today in the passing game. But that time, Janu wide open. And that's what we needed. So can D Dylan seal this now? There's a block. There's a stiff arm. Stays in bounds. That should do it. Just a couple more runs here. Oh, Dylan. All right, Raiders unable to stop the clock. This is a chip-in field goal. Justin Tucker as clutch as they come. And that one's right on the money. And the defense really bails us out today. One of the worst starts of the young career for Will Levis. Does have 300 passing yards, but no touchdowns. A couple fumbles, three interceptions. It's going to go down as a five turnover worthy play game for Levis. But a win is a win, as I'm told every week in the power rankings. Elton Jenkins gets a boost here. He's going to go up two overall somehow from this. Ironically, I think we're actually going to get the confidence boost for Will Levis here. He did move the ball. But that's just going to be morale for the team. So let's advance. We've got the Saints at home. We're 4-0. And we've got a breakout wide receiver. Is this going to be Diami Brown? It's either him or Burton. Jermaine Burton, who did have a big game last week. So we are going to play offense here against the Saints. We're going to hope the uh, forecast is wrong there on the heavy rain and then do our training, and we'll hop right in. We get to play all offense this week, an extra playage thanks to the breakout. Let's defend Alvin Kamara, and we are going to throw it deep against this group. We are going to test these guys. It's a good defense but Levis gonna have to play better and definitely capable of playing better than he did last week let's do it defense gets us a stop early on they are playing great right now so we got Burton I think needs 150 yards or a three touchdown game we are going to just do a little motion here see what we got uh, saints not really giving us a whole lot there and uh we're actually gonna have to burn a timeout some pre-snap confusion good disguise by the saints i wasn't sure if that was going to be man coverage or what but let's reset here little uh, check down there first down not first down on first down oh the throw just a little bit off Burton being tested by Marshawn Lattimore here this week favorable pre-snap look let's run this with Tavion Thomas oh he breaks a tackle unable to get the first down We're going to go hurry up. We're going to go with that first call we had. Burton, is he going to get a one-on-one -on -one out there? 
No. But Corey Davis there for the first down. Burton. Oh. Thought he was going to get the corner there, and he did not. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. I'm just going to go a little screen here, and it's there. Good patience from Tavion Thomas. Reading out his blocks. First down. And a horrible alignment from the Saints. This Okay, they're going to move Warner over. I still think we can run this. See, can we get Burton? He's got Lattimore on him. Just don't fumble it. Don't fumble it. Third down. Diami Brown just barely gets the touchdown. We will take it. And the defense holds again. We are backed up this time. Our own eight yard line. I'm actually gonna flip this. I was hoping maybe to get press coverage from on Burton there, but uh, let's let's block the back. Ooh, the slot fade is there. Diami Brown. Great read against the inverted cover too. Great throw from Levis. There's Burton. Looks like a potential blitz here. It is a blitz. Oh, what an adjustment from Janu Smith. Cuts up field. Makes the defender whiff. Bosa getting the crowd fired up. And that'll take us to the second quarter. There's a little middle of the field dot. Levis playing much better today. Knock on wood. Okay, Burton. Slot corner. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, is this going to be holding or roughing? What a play either way. Roughing. We will take it. Oh no, Burton stopped running his route. He was about to come wide open in the back of the end zone and he just stopped. It's not what we want there. Maybe a little touchdown for Reinhardt here. Oh, 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 yikes. That was a little mini heart attack. Come on, let's get this in. Burton, oh, he's got it. Levis gets hit while he's thrown, but he gets it off. Jermaine Burton, the second year stud out of Alabama, going for superstar here in this game. And the defense gets another turnover. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Man, Levis has got to protect that football much better. Chase Winovich on the Saints gets the sack. Good man coverage by the Saints. We know this defense can be pretty nasty. We got Lattimore on Burton here. Can Burton beat him? Almost. Good luck there. We'll punt this one away. Trust this defense that's playing like one of the best in the league. Mitch Wisnowski on the punt. Not the best punt. Can the defense continue? Well, they hold him to a field goal. We got a two-minute drill chance here. Let's see. Can we block Janu? Cover it up. 
A decent enough look there, all things considered. A couple of defenders for the Saints in the zone. Oh, 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 did he catch that? Diami Brown does special things out here on the football field. Janu, there he is. Let's keep it going. Corey Davis, let's call that timeout. Okay, Burton, these slot corner outs have, have been good looks today. Don't love it here. Let's take that. Oh. And Burton tracks it down, beating Paulson Adebo for his second touchdown of the game. <laughs> Sorry, dude. What an adjustment to the catch. We got offense again. Let's keep lighting these guys up. Levis in the zone now. Feels like we're invincible right now. Let's keep it going. The empty offense, a blitz. Lack of adjustments here from the Saints. It's okay. Second and 10. Just a little curl flat. Look here. Get up field, Thomas. Perfect timing on the check down. Hard in the delay of game. Just a little uh, technical difficulty on my end. So, third and nine. We'll say the headset wasn't working from the, the play call from the coach. Looks like a blitz here. Let's see if we can just get Jermaine Burton. A little curl route. Oh, the throw off target. They're saying Tucker can make a 66-yarder with the wind at his back. This is no problem for him. Pushed it a little bit, though. A blemish on the resume of the best kicker of all time. And the Saints will take over at midfield. Well, let's keep throwing, uh, slinging this thing around. We got Burton from the slot again. This route's been working. Uh, don't love that. Oh, Dylan, though, holds on to it with Tyron Matthew. Breathing down his neck. Sprinkling a little run there. Reward Dylan for the receiving action there. Only two carries on the day for Dylan. Let's give him another one here. Goodness. We got to climb up to the linebacker there, guys. What are we doing? Guess there's a reason we've been passing today. It's working as opposed to this run game. And there's Diami Brown. Going cut back from Dylan. There we go. There's the big man. Feels like a good chance to maybe hit a little play action on him. No. Not a good time to hit play action on him. They were waiting on it. We lose 13 yards. Rolled right into the pressure. So second and 23. The Saints defense is, is turning things on a little bit here. Just got to throw that one away. Oh, Corey Davis holds on to it. What a throw and catch. Davis is having a good, good game out here. Horrible. I don't... Can Madden fix this? We know the answer to that question. But, like, seriously, what is this dollar down by the red zone? And then it works. I don't know what's worse. The fact that they ran it or the fact that it worked. They're doing it again.
Hold on to the ball. We're holding RB. <laughs> Good scramble. Let's give this to Dylan. There we go. There's a touchdown for the big man. And the Saints drive, but don't get anything out of it. So let's just see where are we at with the breakout. I know he's close. He actually, he needs a touchdown. So let's put up a drive here. See if we can get him to get him into the end zone. We're gonna go play action shot here. Man, if we had a little bit more time to throw that, we could have led him up field. All right, third and three. Step up. Oh, Levis brought down. So we have to punt it away. The Saints do score. But uh, the breakout looking pretty grim here unless we get, like, a breakaway run. That would make sense to punch it in for the last second. A run like this, perhaps? No. We're going to go play action boot. This is our last shot right here. <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> Got him on the stick concept here. Get in. There it is. All right. That wasn't uh that wasn't forcing anything. That will do it. A 35-17 victory. What a bounce back performance from Levis. Four touchdowns, no interceptions. Gotta love rinsing off a performance like he had last week. Getting it done there. Burton gets his three touchdowns. We will wrap up here. Taking a look at that scenario here. What I tell you, coach. Superstar for Jermaine Burton. All right. What a start to the season. We've only used two out of our six playages as well. The narrative could be shifting towards, uh, is this going to be an undefeated type of season? It uh, does not feel unobtainable here. Let's do uh, one boost here. We're not going to be able to get very good abilities for Burton quite yet. It does get a speed boost, though. Love to see it. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And we'll see you in a few days for the next episode. Peace out.